<laughs> I guess so. Hey, good morning, everybody. Gosh, I feel good today. The fact that I was sick for so long and started to feel good. It's like I said yesterday, sometimes when you feel good after feeling bad, you feel better than good. <laughs> you feel gooder than good, if that makes any sense. I am just excited today to finally start to feel myself and that energy that I always have is coming back. I'm not 100%, but I am getting close and today is gonna be awesome. What do you say me and you make today amazing? How's that sound? The first thing I have to do is actually go pick up deli cups. You guys may wonder, you know those little insert cups that we use in all of our animals? Where do they come from? Well, I have to pick them up this morning. What do you say we get on the road? I always say that people see success in the things that you achieve, but the truth is, success is really in the gritty details. It's the little things that people don't look at that make people successful. And it's uh, things even like sourcing out a great place to buy deli cups at the best price that you can possibly get, and then having to go pick them up every couple weeks or something. So again, it's not one of those, those things that you're gonna get praised about, like, oh gosh, Brian, that was awesome that you picked up deli cups, but the truth is those are the things that make you successful. All the millions of little things like picking up deli cups are what eventually get you to those achievements that people see that make people think that you're successful. So it's much like, uh, hey, when you take an exam and you get 100%, it's not the exam that is actually giving you the success, it's all the hard work and studying that you did. I that sounded kind of, all right, now I feel like I'm just preaching. Anyways, I'm going to pick up deli cups. So as you can see in the very back, I've got my deli cups, I've got my lids for the hide boxes for geckos in the back. You know, it's funny, I always preach about being kind to people, and it's, it's always bizarre to me when people are just mean and nasty, you know what I mean? So as I was ordering, or well, before I was ordering, the person in front of me was just so incredibly rude and, and just mean to the receptionist, and you know, upset that I got my order before for hers, even though her order was like three times the size, so they were still putting it together. She's just like yelling and screaming. And I just think to myself, that's gotta be a horrible existence, right? To just be so upset about everything. You know, again, I always talk about being nice to people, being kind to somebody. You know, that's what life is about. And, and being upset and mean and angry and always thinking someone's trying to get over on you, that's just gotta be a miserable existence. If she would've just went about her thing and been kind, she would've been out of there in half the time, but instead she had to make it such a big production and it just becomes such a mess. And I felt so bad because the receptionist, she just was doing her job. I mean, she's just trying to be the best that she possibly could be. So just food for thought, you know, be kind to somebody for God's sakes. Trust me, you'll feel better about yourself. Again, a lot of kind of busy work today. So I've got to get in the deli cups that I got. And then we actually had moved over all the cluberts. So now we have to take the lids back to my father-in-law's place where we keep them because we just don't have space here. Uh, so there's a lot of running around. Again, this is one of those days when you're an animal keeper where in actually you're doing very little animal work and you're doing just a lot of running around. But hey, this is just part of the life of being a snake breeder. Gorgeous day out here. I mean, spring is in the air. Oh, I'm in such a good mood, man. This is feeling great and excited about the day, even if I have to just move boxes around all day. Oh, and while this is all happening, you know, because there's not a lot of animal stuff happening when they're moving around boxes and stuff like that, I decided to give you guys a little bit of speedy cam over there. So, you guys, I know you love this guy. Hey, speedy, what's going on, buddy? What's up? That's just for your entertainment while I'm working my butt off. By the way, watch this. This is absolutely amazing. Speedy is a monster. Come here, Speedy. Look at Speedy. Greenage. Get it, Speedy. Lori, did you load all the boxes? 
Why didn't you tell me? I would have helped you. Because you said you were tired and not feeling good. Well, I'm feeling good. <laughs> so I literally, I'm sitting down, actually relaxing for a minute, and look at her. She's just like loading up all the boxes. Nobody has time for that. <laughs> you guys all need a wife like this because she's badass. <laughs> she literally loaded up all these boxes in my truck. She loaded up all these boxes in both our trucks. She's crazy. Okay, we're all packed up and we're ready to get rolling. Lori? You want to race? You know I always win. No, you will not win. I, all right, it's a race and you can't lose any lids either. Well, that's probably, <laughs> that's probably the hardest part right there. There's no way. All right, I'm going to beat you there. All right, I'm there first. She likes to cheat, so I guarantee you she's gonna beat me because she'll be cheating. She's got a big lead on me right now. She totally left me in the dust. I got stuck in a bunch of traffic, <laughs> so now I gotta make up time. This is so irresponsible for us. Okay, I'm gonna catch her. So I lulled Laura into a sense of calm, and now I'm about to pass her. And see you later. See ya. And Lori just passed me. I don't know. Now we're in a tough spot because we're in a, a road like this. I don't think I'm going to be able to pass her. Gosh, I can't believe she always gets me. Ugh, she's so mean. She just plays dirty. <laughs> you won only because you cheated. I didn't cheat. You did so cheat. You passed me on the right hand side. What are you talking in a merge lane. <laughs> You're a cheater. I'm a winner. <laughs> She's a cheater. All right, so basically we just have to bring those boxes of lids in and we're gonna stack them over here uh, because it's a lot better than having them in our building. So <laughs> my dad, unfortunately, always gets our crap loaded all over him. So, uh, all right, load them up. So there you go. Now you know how it's like to be a snake breeder for a living. You move a lot of lids around. <laughs> okay, are we done? Just heading back to the shop. Wanna go for a walk in the woods real quick? Okay. at the shop and I am just looking for Bella because uh, she's on her daily wandering of the shop uh, and again we like to just let her loose and just let her run around and she loves it you know I mean she doesn't really get into too much trouble but uh, where's she at Bella Bella where are you at Bella no oh, there you are Bella what are you doing you shilly Bella don't go back there <laughs> <laughs> Bella, you silly. Come here, Bella. Oh, there she goes. <laughs> She'll come out in a second, trust me. <laughs> Bella's getting in trouble. Where are you going, silly? You gonna get her? Bella, what are you doing, you silly? What are you doing, silly? Stella, I want to climb. I want to climb. What are you silly, little monkey, you? You silly girl. <laughs> it's like I said. It's like having a pet dinosaur. I mean, this thing is absolutely amazing. Oh, Bella. Girl, you want a banana? <laughs> I 
guess so. All right, so it's my first real day back, kind of being myself, so I know this vlog is absolutely all over the place, and I'm sorry about it. I'm just kind of, I'm really one of those guys that's just all over the place. Anyways, I just want to show you. We hung up these two new paintings that we just got. Check that out. It's a green tree monitor, and then an agurnia. And uh, these are absolutely beautiful. And we always get these uh, these paintings from a guy named Tell Hicks. He's an amazing wildlife artist over in the UK. Uh, we actually buy them from a place called Eco Publishing, but that's Tell is a good friend of ours. And now uh, he's done like paintings for like uh, the Buckingham Palace. I mean, he's just really amazing. And that's where all the artwork is. So we have like these koi fish that came from him. Uh, we have obviously this big sea turtle over here, and we have these veiled chameleons over here. So Lori is a huge fan of Tell's work, and uh, she definitely, every time she sees a new thing that she wants, she's gotta have it, and so she buys it. So. Hey, I wanted these like over a year ago, and I just got them. So <laughs> I don't always get them. They're, yeah, that's true, she does not. But anyway, so anyways, those are new paintings on the wall. I thought I'd share them with you guys, all right? All of the colubrids are finally out of hibernation and up. You can see this whole row is full of colubrids. Uh, the other side is also full of colubrids. So we are in great shape. Uh, that's why we took all the lids back over. So it's really cool, Ben. You know, snakes are up and they will be breeding. It's exciting, I got my snakes back. It's almost like I inherited a collection of several hundred more snakes. So it's gonna be really cool and it's gonna be great because now I can share more snakes with you guys that I'm super excited about. Take a look at this one right here. This is one of those pink corn snakes that I always love, those salmon corn snakes. So uh, this is a little male that's just barely big enough to breed but maybe if we get a little bit of size on him, we'll go ahead and breed him. I put him into hibernation just because I thought maybe he would breed. But uh, anyways, colubrids are up and uh, that is something that excites me. All right, so day one is wrapping up. We're gonna get out of here at the shop. It was really great to be back. I was like a creative tornado today. My mind is going a million miles a minute. It feels so good to be back at the shop. But again, I don't wanna push myself too hard, so we're gonna cut out of here and uh, just maybe relax a little bit tonight. Who knows, maybe we'll go do something. All right, so for the last couple hours, Lori's been out getting her hair done, and I've been waiting like, you know, for dinner and all this other stuff. Like, you know, I cook dinner, but I've been waiting for her to get home to eat dinner. And uh, she, so she better look like a supermodel. <laughs> Let me see what you look like. You look totally different. I like it though. I think it looks good. I don't know. <laughs> it is definitely light though. Yeah. It's, you went light. She went light, but she looks good, right? What do you guys think down in the comments? <laughs> She's probably like, don't, don't comment, yeah. don't comment. You know what? No, I don't want to know what she thinks. Don't comment. <laughs> I like it. It looks good. You look good. Do you like it? Yes. Yeah. There you have it. That's what three hours at the beauty salon looks like. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> All right, so guys, I'm gonna end the vlog here. It's been a little bit of a weird day. <laughs> Normally, I try to make some sense of what I'm doing, but I think that because I was feeling good, I was kind of really erratic and all over the place. So f even filming the vlog seemed like little segments of this and that and this and that. It didn't seem to make much of a start. So I apologize about that. I hope you guys didn't mind and still enjoyed my first day of normalcy back. I'm looking forward to what is to come. As a matter of fact, I'm, you know, I'm always just so excited about things that I think me and Laura are gonna go on a real quick trip in a couple days because we're supposed to go to New York City. That didn't work out, so I thought, hey, let's go. So I'll save the surprise for you guys if we decide to go. I'm not 100% sure. Regardless, thank you guys so much for joining me, and thank you guys again for being there for me for everything. You guys mean the world to me, and I appreciate you guys so much. You guys have an incredible day today, and make sure to be kind to somebody. I promise. I'm going to see you guys tomorrow.